but I'm trying to give you as much as I possibly can this year and help you and take you into the charts, draw your attention to certain things. That way you can see by experience that you'll get over time. You'll learn what you're pursuing. And you may not even understand what you're looking for right now. You just want to make money. That's what you're here for. You're trying to make money. And I get it. But there's things you have to understand before you can get to that point. I'm going to say a few things in the beginning while your attention span is at the highest. You are not to be touching a trade entry. You're not supposed to be touching it with a paper trading account, not a demo account, not a funded account, not a live account. None of you know what the fuck you're doing. Okay? None of you. You're in here. You're waiting for me to drop some buzzword. And what I'm trying to teach you is the ebb and flow of these markets, where it's going to move from, what level is going to be important. If you're trying to push a trade entry within 9.30 to 10 o'clock, you're fucking gambling. Okay? Is that clear enough for you? You're clearly impatient if you're pushing the button. And I know some of you are doing it. You're sending me messages in Telegram. You're sending me emails. Some of you are texting me on my phone. I got to change my fucking phone number now. I am not an oracle, okay? I'm not going to tell you where to get in a trade. What I'm teaching you to do is observe price action. It's generic. It's not going to have... I mean, how many times do I have to say this? It's like 51st fucking dates with some of you. I literally am telling you every time, do not try to push the button. That's the whole point of teaching this. And then when you're complaining that you're confused, you're complaining that you took a loss, which is exactly what I told you to do in your journal. You record those things. You keep them personal, private. Because then you can take yourself to the woodshed. I don't have to do these types of lectures. These are divisive and I'm trying not to be divisive. In the past, I didn't give a fuck who I offended, but I'm trying my best this year to be very patient when I'm not. These types of things make me extremely impatient. I don't have patience for it. I booted people out of my paid mentorship that acted like some of you. If you don't listen to the instructions I'm giving right now, where do you think you're going to be when we get into the weightier matters and things that I'm teaching that are more technical? If you can't even control yourself right now and listen to the simple instructions of you're reading the tape, we're watching it live. I'm going to take your attention to a specific price level and then you're going to watch and observe. How does it react there? Why? Why is that even beneficial? For the folks that are here and you're confused or you are trying to push the button and you took a trade and you lost, you are not going to learn this. Okay, you're not. You're going to fail. You will not make money here. No matter what I do, you are going to fail at it. I've learned that in mentoring individuals with that personality, that stubbornness, that you're going to just find your way through it the way you want to find your way. You're trying to have it your way mentorship. And I'm telling you, have it your way mentorship is a fucking pathway to broke failure regret and you're going to try like I've had other students try to do and try to fault me for it when that's bullshit the first 30 minutes you're observing you don't have the skill set or the ability to trade underneath that first 30 minutes you don't know what you're looking for you don't know so what's the benefit of waiting for that first 30 minutes that's the opening range after that the buy side and the sell side they're going to be attacked. One or the other is going to be attacked. Think of it like the way I teach the Asian range in Forex. So when I'm walking you through in either tweets or on the live sessions, and I'm telling you, okay, watch this level here, watch this level there. What you're allowing for and what I'm allowing for, because I understand how this works. You're coming here. 
with such a small understanding, with an ex ex exaggerated expectation. You think you're going to own the fucking world by November. You're not. You're not. Okay? You're not. If you've been misguided up to this point, just understand that it is going to be a lot of work. And it's going to feel like in the beginning you're not getting anywhere. And that's absolutely normal. But this is how you get blocked on Twitter. If you tweet to me that you just took a loss or you made money in a trade, I swear to God, I'm blocking you. I'm done. You're not listening. I don't give a fuck about your trade result. I don't care if you made money or lost because what you're telling me is in the biggest, boldest neon fucking sign is the ICT. I don't fucking listen. I don't listen. So I'm not going to waste my time and attention on anything that you tweet me. So I'm blocking that. Now, do I have your attention now? So you're like, fuck off then. I'm out of here. I'm going to follow. Follow someone else. I'm only here to teach. That's it. I'm doing this fucking shit for free. And you aren't even listening. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. And you think that you're going to beat this industry with Mickey Mouse effort like that? You can't even stay off of a demo or without pushing the button. We haven't even been one month into this yet. And I have folks literally showing every characteristic that they're going to fail at this. And in November, they'll be the ones that voice, oh, I went through the ICT mentorship. It's bullshit. Didn't work. But I'm going to be trading it. You're going to see other people trading it. The market's going to be called. Every level is going to be hit. Bottom line is, is you're going to have your excuse because you didn't follow the instructions and the instructions are going to lead you to the results that you really want. But you think it's too much work. I ain't got time for this bullshit. I want to know what's going on. Where's the signal? Where's the entry? Where's the stop? You're never going to learn it like that. You're never, ever going to fucking learn it like that. My pattern, my specific setup for the day or that morning session or within that particular fractal and price action may not be the one that fits you. I can't make it any plainer than that. Not everybody's going to trade a fucking RSI divergence. Nobody is going to say, hey, you know, I like this guy trading the MACD over here and he's using pivot points. And I like this guy over here doing Elliott Wave. Uh, I'm going to pick and choose whenever I feel impulsive to take which one I like at the time. That's a rookie mistake. And you're taking every point of reference that I'm calling out. I never said short it. I never said buy it. I'm saying watch it. See if it respects it. Why? Why did I use those fucking terms? Go back and listen to the other times I mentioned it. We're inside the opening range, that first 30 minutes. But some of you don't want to take notes when you're watching my lectures on YouTube. You don't want to take notes while I'm giving you these rants. But I'm teaching you. The things that you need to understand are in these boring discussions. How do I know this? When do I know not to do that? It's when I'm talking to you. But you want to see the little squiggly line bullshit. Show me the fair value gap, the fucking things that I'm drawing on a chart. That's the least important thing. That's the least important thing, but you think it's the most paramount thing there is. And it's very frustrating. This is why it's very difficult. And this is why I always fucking recorded my lectures because most of them had this shit in it and I had to go back and edit all out. And I'm going to offend some of you. And some of you may want to unfollow me when you hear me talk like this. Good! Save me my fucking peace of fucking mind and my time and yours. Because if you don't want to listen to the instructions I'm giving you right now in the beginning... You're sure as fuck ain't going to listen to me when I get into the difficult stuff. This is nothing. All I'm asking you to do is observe price from one point to the next. That's all you're doing. And the benefit of having done so is you're going to start seeing things that repeat that your eye draws to. The thing that makes most sense to you at your present understanding, you're going to explore that. So that way your study on your own time is more beneficial. I'm trying to make you do this the most efficient way possible, but I'm a, I'm a realist. You can't just watch a fucking video, like a demonstration, like a tutorial, and say, oh yeah, 
Gordon Ramsay just showed me how to make fucking stuffed peppers with fucking lamb meat. Oh, I'm going to go out and do that right now. The fuck you are. You're going to burn some shit up. You're going to fucking make the house stink. Your fucking spouse is going to say, why the fuck did you even bother doing this? Let's go to Outback. What the fuck? You're trying to make this harder than it needs to be because you're not willing to listen. That's a character flaw. And that's exactly what I talk about all the time in this industry. It's a mirror. It's going to show you that you aren't fucking ready. You aren't ready. If you are looking at me in these live streams, calling out these levels and observing specific things and taking your attention to these very moments to watch that. That's not a fucking trade. There's no secret code language I'm giving any of you. Nudge, nudge, here. This is a fucking trade. I can't make it any more plainer than this now, okay? You're watching how price delivers. How it moves from one point of interest to the next. Within a specific time window. Over time doing that. Okay, over time doing that, you will start seeing things that you don't fully appreciate right now because you've seen it multiple times. Me pointing to fair value gaps, just look at the trolls. Oh, it's cherry picked. But then when I'm calling them live and it reacts off of it, they are silent. If you're pushing a button or chomping at the bit, impatient to push a button, to get some reaction on the things I'm talking about when the only stage you're in right now is this tape reading. Tape reading is no fucking trading. Not a demo, not a paper trade, not a funded account, not a live account. If I'm talking about buy side liquidity in the first 30 minutes, what you're doing is you're, we you're weighing and measuring the ability for the price to want to get to that level. If it doesn't go there, what did I teach you yesterday? If it fails to go to a specific Inefficiency, consequent encroachment, or buy side. If it's failing to get up there, it's showing you what? An unwillingness to go there. So what's it going to do? It's going to go the other direction. So you're weighing out what the market's trying to work most side, which side of the opening range is trying to work on. Look at the first 30 minutes of ES today. Where did it spend the majority of the time? in that first 30 minutes, the upper portion. And it was unwilling to clear out any significant run above the two buy side liquidity pools I had your attention to. So how do you know within the first 30 minutes, which side to trust? I gave you a five minute order block, watch that. See if it wants to respect that. And I said, watch the volume and balance. And I said, breaker, how many fucking PD arrays was that? Three. Oh shit. For the note takers, for the people that are listening and taking fucking notes, they're saying to themselves, oh shit. He did say when three PD arrays fail, you're fucked. It's going the other direction. Nobody said it was a fucking long entry. Nobody said buy it. I said watch, observe, study, see what it's doing, see if it respects it. You have to look at price with a lot of flexibility right now, not holding any expectation over yourself or the live streams or what you think you're going to be able to do a week from now. You can't think about it like that. You have to be flexible, allow yourself to learn this, but you're not going to fucking learn it. You know, here, I'm going to give you a couple of scenarios. Here's what happened. When I was a younger person, and I used to do card tricks and shit with my friends and stuff, I have friends. You know who they are. You're probably one of them, and you fucking know it, okay? And I can see you in my in my comments on my Twitter space, and I can see you in my comments on my videos, too. And you're some of the ones that are sending me messages through Telegram and sending me emails. And I don't mind helping. I don't mind answering a question if it's something that I haven't said at nauseam. But these things, I have said this a lot. Don't trade. Don't push the button. You're, tra you're tape reading. But invariably, some individuals, they see somebody demonstrate something. 
do a card trick. Hey, look, let me show you how to swing the bat over here. And then they want to do the, they want to grab it and show you how they can do it right away without any practice. And then it's fucking a, a train wreck. It's impatience. Impatience is going to fucking bury you before you have a chance to even really learn how to do this. You're going to fail and you might not see it. Some of you that are doing these types of things, you think you're going to be the exception. And I'm telling you, that's exactly what young ICT thought too. And I was humbled over and over and over again. You will not be the exception. And I say that with all the love and all of the respect and all of the interest in you succeeding. I want to see you succeed. I do. I swear to God almighty, I want to see you succeed. But you have to let me help you. You have to let that process unfold the way I'm teaching you. If you do not submit to this process, it's impossible for you to to be successful in it. You're going to fail. If you're looking at anything in addition to the things I'm talking about in the tweets, is that a catalyst for you to want to push the button? If it is, if you're thinking, well, if this is what I've been in trade, you're doing it wrong. Don't ask me. Don't even bring it up. That's why I say focus on what it is I'm bringing your attention to and only that. In your own journal, you add all that extra stuff there. You don't bring it to the equation or the conversation while we're doing tape reading. Number one, I predominantly do not even look at tweets while I'm doing live sessions or when I'm doing these types of things here. Because invariably, I'm going to see something that's going to fucking trigger me. And it's either going to take me off the, the topic I want to tackle or it's going to cause me rage because I see someone and I know some people are going to come here that are new, but I see some names that repeat. I've recognized you with either liking a, a tweet or retweeting something or commenting to someone else. So you've been around for a little while. You've you've heard me say, don't push a button. You've heard me talk about the opening range. But if you're doing Netflix and chill with ICT videos, you're going to not get what you're here for. You're going to have selective hearing. You're going to pick up whatever you think is useful when you have no idea what makes it useful. It's just something that you're going on a hunch. Oh, yeah, this is that. This is that order block. This is that fair value gap. This is that new implied fair value gap. Now all you want to be worrying about that now. I have to get this off me, otherwise it'll eat at me all day long. When you're trained with me personally, side by side, like I did it in the 90s, this is how they got it. And sometimes it wasn't pleasurable, it wasn't fun, it was uncomfortable, but it's, it's the reality. You can't do stupid shit and expect good results, okay, you can't. And if you're trying to, oh, well, you know, come on, man, there was a loss going long. Nobody said go long. I said, watch, trust me, there will be very finite terms where you can judge my approval or not the approval, but the, the accuracy of what it is I'm looking for. OK, I will give that to you this year. I will. I promise you that's coming. But in the beginning stages to, to get everybody at least on the same foundation whether you've been doing this for a while or not whether you're familiar with what i do and teach it's irrelevant if i get everybody on the same page knowing that we're just looking at price action we're not trying to we're not trying to forecast the actual high and low we're not trying to time an entry we're not doing that because this skill of finding your individual trade setup and entry that's a unique thing not all of us are going to have that same entry when we do sessions where I tell you, okay, you're going to use this PD array with your demo account and your paper trading, and I'm going to ask you all to share your chart where it shows your entries were in and out. Most of you will not want to do that because you think it's a report card and it's not going to be good enough. And you're going to be scared. You'll maybe share it and you'll see other people doing better than what you did and you're going to delete your tweet. Don't do that. You're robbing yourself of the best opportunity how to learn this. And 
when it's uncomfortable, that's exactly what it's supposed to fucking feel like. Every time that you push a trade when you want to get into a live account, when you trade your funded accounts, guess what you're doing? You're casting your opinion into the abyss of that hard right edge. And you don't know what the outcome is going to be. So you have to desensitize yourself now while everybody's doing the same thing. Nobody's better than the other. You're all in the same stage of learning. Regardless of how long you've been with me, if you've been profitable, funded, I don't give a fuck. This year's mentorship is different. If you can't recognize that, even my charter members are thinking, this is something totally different. Yes, this is the brass tax. But I also know that this type of training is going to weed out the people that are not going to do well and it's going to do do it quickly but i don't want to see any of you fall behind i don't want to see you fall victim to yourself your own character falls before you have a chance to cope and manage them and replace them with more positive characteristics of a trader or a speculator Everything I'm saying does not translate to an entry. It does not translate to a trade. What you're doing is seeing those moments in price action at the times I'm prompting you to look at them. Study it. See, does it do specific things that you are expecting based on the things I teach on my YouTube channel? The order block shouldn't do what? Shouldn't go past the mean threshold. What happens if it does? That's a warning sign. Then I mentioned the volume imbalance below it. What happens if it goes through that? It can do that, but guess how many PD rates now is failing too. And I said the bullish breaker. Well, if it goes below that and shows no willingness to support anything there, what is it indicating to you? It's going to want to do what? Expand lower, seek discount. Go look at the tweets, folks. That's why I'm doing it. I'm confused. I can't follow your tweets. Then wait until the session's over. Go back, take every individual tweet and place it on your chart and it'll make perfect sense to you then. I'm telling you, that's how you're supposed to be doing it. For those that are here watching it live, you have the benefit of just seeing it and looking at it over your chart real time. But there's no disadvantage for those that can't do it because you literally can take that tweet that's time and date stamped, plot it right on your trading view chart and you'll see where I was pointing your attention to and how we are watching how it's going to reach the next level. Then what are you supposed to do with that? What's the benefit? Once it goes there and I said, okay, you know, screenshot this, what are you supposed to be doing? You're supposed to be looking at how much time it took before it repelled away from that level, started gravitating to another level within five handles. Does it offer a range of five handles? If it does, was there a setup in there that you can identify? What do you mean? I thought you were supposed to tell me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you how to find your setup. Using the things I've taught, what what pattern exists in that price run? Well, in the fair value gap that I mentioned this morning, using the 650 candle, time candle, six, 10 minutes to seven, basically, in New York local time. I mentioned I want to see that fair value gap act as resistance. Then the market does what? creates a up close candle into that fair value gap. Market moves away, comes back up again, and it spends multiple times trading into the midpoint of that up close candle. For those that have had the charts in front of them, it's the 10.05, five minutes after 10 candle this morning, that one singular up close candle. And the subsequent candles after that, it was trading up into both the fair value gap low from 650's candle. And then we had what? Expansion. Reaching down into the fair value gap I mentioned below it. Seeking what? Discount. That candle is formed at the 650 time candle on one minute chart. It trades down to it and then blows out the low. And I said, you want to screenshot this 
and label it 50% of the trade off here. But I didn't take a trade. You didn't take a trade. Oh, what are we doing with all this? You're conditioning yourself and you're logging it. When I teach you how to journal, I told you, you're giving yourself positive self-talk. You are conditioning your subconscious after the fact, using the points of reference that I'm giving you real time as the chart creates these specific things and it draws to the levels I'm talking about, you're screenshotting that. And then you're adding all your observations later on. Not then, you don't have time to do that. You're watching price. Price gravitates all the way back up to the imbalance, which I did not, I was losing my shit when I was reading these tweets. At nine minutes after 10, that fair value gap on the one minute chart, it comes back, reprices to that, does not come back up to the fair value gap formed at 7.05. So five minutes after seven, that candle, that's your fair value gap. That was the one I drew your attention to first below the breaker below the volume and balance and below the five minute bullish order block. So we saw price spend majority of the time within the first 30 minutes in the upper 50% of that 30 minute range from 9.30 to 10 o'clock. And it did what? It failed. It failed to take 4020.75 buy side. It, it couldn't do it. And then it showed a willingness to do what? Go out below the low of the first 30 minutes of trading. So what we're doing is we're giving the market time to run on buy side. In the first 30 minutes, you don't know what it's going to do. You don't know. So how do you learn to trust these things, ICT? How do you do this and how you do that? By doing what I'm walking you through in these tweets or in the live sessions. But some of you don't want to learn. You want to be spoon fed. And you didn't want to lie to me after the fact. But I see you're, you don't understand. I'm, this is what I'm really trying to do. No, you're full of shit. You're trying to take a trade. I guarantee you, you probably have taken three trades this morning. And you regret it. And then the move that unfolded, you weren't part of that. And you feel regret. You feel like you got confused and tricked and I didn't tell you exactly what you wanted to hear when I'm telling you I'm telling you what you need to hear I'm telling you what you need to study and observe because you don't have the experience to know what to do in that first 30 minutes so the first stage of your learning is submit to that first 30 minutes that's that's part of this that first 30 minutes is much like a Asian session in Forex Whereas Asian, Asian range, rather not Asian touch, Asian range is several hours in, in length and time. But the first 30 minutes after midnight New York local time, that's an opening range too. But at 930, I'm looking at that opening range. And we've had a large trending day yesterday. We had a large range expansion to the downside. We had our targets reached. So the next morning session is going to be more difficult than it would be on another day. So you have to be very, very careful and demand more insight, more information, because you don't want to be what? In a hurry, impatient to go and chase something. So you have to have a filter, a time filter. You allow for that first 30 minutes. But what happens if it takes off and runs 25 handles? You fucking missed it. <laughs> How about that for logic? But you don't want to accept that because you want to be able to do every fucking micro move. Just because you watch some videos. You think that's what you're supposed to be able to do. And that's bullshit. Nobody said you're supposed to be doing that. I sure as hell didn't say that. So you have to have realistic expectations. You have to be diligent about what it is that you're being told to do, what not to do, and live in that. Allow yourself to develop under those controlled conditions. You're safe. It's okay to make a mistake. If you have an opinion about, okay, Michael's saying, watch this level here, and he's pointing out something below the marketplace. Okay, so is it showing me anything in there that would lead to a trade? 
if you don't see it and price moves you'll go back and find it in hindsight and that's still learning but you don't want to be pushing a button thinking you understand what i might be hinting at when i'm not hinting at anything i'm just telling you watch this level here note this here these are areas i'm watching on my own chart i am not putting things out there that are ambiguous that mean nothing I'm drawing your attention to the very specific things that I'm utilizing to determine a bias within a narrative.